She seems like she's having fun and she's for the streets. Well, actually, she said, so she's 34. She and Al were married for six years. Yeah, that was, she was like, what, 26, 27? Well, when they married in 2014 and divorced in 2020. So in 2014. So she was in her, maybe like 27? Yeah, she was, um, because that was what, seven years ago? So mm -hmm. she was 27. So yeah, she should have been at an age, you know. She should have been at the age where. She's gotten that out of her system, but I think, I think her and Adam have been together even longer. Oh, yeah, because we got to think about that, too. That's the thing. Yeah. So she didn't really have a chance to, like, explore, understand who she is. Mm -hmm. Because didn't you find a statistic that explains, like, if you get married too young, you know, you probably end up, you know, divorced by the time you're 40, right? Well, yeah, so basically, actually, even before then... They found statistics that anyone who marries between the ages of 18 and 25 mm -hmm. have a higher divorce chance than anyone else out of any age group. Mm. So baby, when you barely hit my line, tell me what you want to do. I know you still really do, 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 do. You guys, before we get started with this topic, I just want to thank my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and supporting me. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Please um, click that notification bell so that you are alerted when I post a new video. But thank you, thank you so much. Now let's get into this video. So Danny, I have Danny with me, you guys, my co-host, my bestie. Hi. <laughs> but Danny, do you know a YouTuber named Latoya Forever? Yes, she's Canadian. I don't know if she's Canadian. Is she? Mm -hmm. No, I think she's Trinidadian. Mm -hmm. It says Latoya Howard. No, I don't know if her name's Latoya Howard though. Is that her name? Mm -hmm. And she's Latoya Forever. She's yeah. 34. Is she in her? Yeah, she's 34. Yeah, okay. she's Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I could have sworn she was Trinidadian. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. But, so she's been in the news. Well, her ex-boyfriend, I guess, has been in the news because he recently visited. His name is Vaughn, I think. Let me just double check. Um, Three children. Adam Ali. Uh-huh. No, that's not. That's her ex-husband. Oh, yeah, but yeah. her boyfriend, his name is Vaughn. Yeah, they divorced after six years of marriage. Vaughn Rye or Ree or something. That's him. His name's Vaughn Ree. Let me show you. Him right here. So that's her ex-boyfriend. That's the guy that he's, she started dating this guy after she got a divorce mm -hmm. from her husband, Adam mm -hmm. Ali. And they had been married for six years. And they were married for six years. But the thing is, Vaughn just did an interview with Hollywood Unlocked. Mm -hmm. Sh shout out to Hollywood Unlocked. But, you know, that's what Jason Lee. You know, mm -hmm. Jason Lee, girl, mm -hmm. how do you feel mm -hmm. about him? He's so like... <sighs> That's a story for another day. I know. No he's a lot. Be he's no a man lot. should be that extra. He's a lot. He's extra. <laughs> but he's cute, though. I like Jason. But Vaughn did an interview on Hollywood Unlocked, and he revealed that when he and LaToya were together, LaToya cheated on him. Mm. Yeah. And it's like, she's, she's really, like, for the streets now. <laughs> she's out here living her life. Yeah, she for these channels. She for these YouTube. She for these channels. She for this. Uh, she for these influencers. Okay. She was like, this. and then Vaughn was like, you know, he was like, oh, you know, I have a huge eggplant, like, saying that he has a huge eggplant. But why did she cheat on him? That doesn't matter. People put. Oh no, Danny! If you got a good eggplant, now, you clearly, shouldn't be cheating on your man. That's what I'm saying. But it's more than that. People equate a lot of things with sex, but sex only keeps you so long. That's true. It, it's, you, you realize that's more true. than anything. After a while. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Your emotional needs. Because sex will keep you longer than what you should stay. That's true. But it'll put you in deeper than you have intended to go. That's true. But I wonder why, though, because he's. I think Vaughn is cute. And, yeah, but, but you never know. We don't know how his personality is. We don't know if he, lean, if he thinks he can stand on the eggplant. The only thing you can stand on is your wallet. <laughs> this is true. No, that's true. <laughs> okay. No, but okay, so the, my point is, so let's just kind of backtrack a little bit, right? So Latoya, she got married to Adam, I think when they were in their early 20s, right? And they had these kids. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, yeah, she seems like she's having fun and she's for the streets. Well, actually, she said, so she's 34. She and Adam were married for six years. Yeah, that was, she was like, what, 26, 27? Well, when they married in 2014 and divorced in 2020. So in 2014. So she was in her, maybe like 27? Yeah, she was, um, 
because that was what seven years ago so mm -hmm. she was 27 so yeah she should have been at an age you know she should have been at the age where she's gotten that out of her system but i think i think her and adam have been together even longer oh yeah because we got thinking about that too. that's the thing yeah so she didn't really have a chance to like explore understand who she is mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the reason why she got a divorce from Adam because everybody was like really criticizing her when she got a divorce from him. But I think the thing is, if when you when you're with somebody for that long, like you don't get a chance to know what you like, know what you want. You know what I mean? Like it, it's important to do that because didn't you find a statistic that explains like if you get married too young, you know, you probably end up, you know, divorced by the time you're 40, right? Well, yeah, so basically actually even before then, they found statistics that anyone who marries between the ages of 18 and 25 mm -hmm. have a higher divorce chance than anyone else See? out of any age group. Mm -hmm. So depending on if they, because think about it, she married him at 27, so they probably started dating around the 24, yeah. 25. Really early. Yeah. 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 And usually the recommendation for ages, people stay married the longest, they get married in their late 20s, early 30s. Because apparently it's yeah. the most pliable. Yeah. Which makes sense. It does make uh, sense. Yeah. It does make sense. It does. Yeah, so she, if she was with him in her, her early 20s and then they got married and all that, she did. She just didn't really have time to be for the streets. <laughs> now she wants to be for the streets after a divorce, <laughs> after a boyfriend, Not for the streets. and after three kids, now she wants to be for the streets. <gasps> I recommend getting married, like, in your 30s because mm -hmm. you know yourself, right? Or you should. Some people mm -hmm. don't, mm -hmm. but you should, mm -hmm. right? You're making more money. Mm -hmm. Some people don't, but you should. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. should know exactly what you want in a mate. Yeah. You should know how to treat your mate at this point. Some people don't, but yeah. you should, right? Yeah, and you really should really know what you need more than what you want. You're yeah, right. Because... Well, I don't know. I think it goes both ways, though, because you have to be able to be a good partner, and your partner has to be able to be good to you. Exactly, but, it's, yeah. but that's a need. It's more like, you know how people say your needs than your wants it's mm -hmm. like you need shelter you need food yeah you know and depending on what you like for me and in a relationship i need emotional support yeah you know, i need someone who's going to support me in everything that i do yeah i need someone who's like who's okay she's a free spirit like let, let me not be free yeah like i need uh, certain things i need mm -hmm. otherwise it's not going to be good yeah and whether he has an eggplant or not you know, <laughs> it's just not gonna good, be good 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 eggplant yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i don't care how good it is it's, yeah. you know that's i mean emotional spiritual connection and you can't provide that or you can't expect someone to provide you that when you're so young yeah oh, you know because yeah, it's hard it's hard i mean are there couples out there who are doing it, yeah, and they're kind of growing together, but that part, you know, both par parties have to be willing to grow together exactly. with each other. Yeah. But that's very rare that that happens. It is. You know? Because honestly, in America, which is why America has one of the highest divorce rates, is that we're taught to be self first. And a lot of places, they don't teach you self first. Mm -hmm. The places that have the least amount of divorces, they teach you other people before you. Like, even how the Bible says, God, then your neighbor, then yourself. Mm. So, and that's how a lot of other countries move, which is why they have less divorce rates. Mm. But, yeah. I don't know, because the woman in some countries, when you really break that down, though, it's like, should there be more divorces? It's, it looks good on paper. But, you know, the wife is probably at home being toward like well yeah dealing like, with under, dealing with disrespect undeveloped countries most definitely that's well, what women i'm saying the same rights but, but so it, it's but really it, not a win <laughs> but, but in like canada you know where they yeah. have rights in europe they have rights they have less divorce rates than us yeah i mean americans we're just selfish by nature if you look at us and us <laughs> a whole compared to yeah. the world we're yeah. selfish yeah like even the way we're raised the way we're taught we overwork we work more than any other country that's in the true. world like think about vacation days we, people, most companies give you two to four weeks a year like even for rental paternity leave, when women gets what six to twelve weeks max. Yeah. In other countries, you get a year. Like just yeah. think about those things. We're not we're not a society that's conducive to family life anymore. That's we're true. a society that makes people like you, 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 me, 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 me. Yeah, like, but the point, but the point is though, I just feel like getting married in your early twenties or being with somebody and then getting married in your late twenties, it's just not a good idea. Oh no, I concur. Because yeah. again, but when you're young, that's your time to be selfish. Right. Because you're growing to know you. You're growing to know you, understand who you are. Like how can you make somebody else happy if you don't know what makes you happy for yourself mm -hmm. you and know self-love should be first and marriage is a selfless act People it really is that. marriage is the most selfless and you act have to be mentally prepared children. for that yeah you yeah do. definitely outside of having children i'll say marriage is the most selfless act you can do and you have to be very tolerant <laughs> yeah you do you have to look sometimes you may wake up like oh, you're still alive no <laughs> You have to be very tolerant. No, you know? yeah, you do. Yeah. Like, all just aside, you know, um, when that day comes, I'll be very thankful. But you really have to be open to 
Like there, there's people try to. I think that's the thing. People don't prepare you for the reality of it. Yeah. People make it seem like it's a glorious thing, and it's not. You literally have two people that the occupied space and try to become one. Yeah. And the occupied space you have to almost work at 24 it. Seven. It doesn't matter what you see on social media. You know, a bunch mm-hmm. of happy couples, which I love seeing happy couples, though. You know, I love that, but. I don't claim anybody as my couple goals because you just never know. I mean, a picture is a picture. Mm-hmm. You never know what that what that couple is going through behind closed doors. Like, of course. I mean, it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. And I was, Look at Kevin Hart and his McRib. Yeah, and I didn't remember. Uh, <laughs> as soon as he said that, it came out that he cheated like exactly. a couple weeks ago. And you remember, I mean, a couple of uh, weeks after that, after yeah. he said that. And you remember um, during the pandemic quarantine. A lot more couples divorced. Yeah. Doing a quarantine. Yeah. Like for the most part. That's and they had true. more domestic violence went up. Yeah. Like where people like all, a lot of issues occurred. A lot of issues. A lot of people I think when life was happening, you weren't forced to deal with that other person. Mm-hmm. But then when life stopped, you couldn't go anywhere, you just trapped in the house with that person. You like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Like so that's another factor. Some people got closer during the quarantine, some people got further apart. Yeah, man. And well, I don't know what to say about Latoya forever, honey. Enjoy your uh Hot girl, hot girl time. Yeah, but in the hot girl summer, she she's, she's in the streets. She is in these streets. Yeah, she's on the streets. She's in the streets. No, but I'm not. I'm not judging her though. I'm not judging she's her at all. I, 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 you know, I'm not gonna judge her. I just, think I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect, so no. You know, people shouldn't judge her. Last year, in 2020. So honestly, she's not. She shouldn't be committed to anyone anytime soon. Yeah. She needs to just do her. Maybe take a year or two off. Yeah. And just enjoy her life. Yeah. That's but it. And she needs to find herself. Yeah. You know, find out what makes her happy. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, and enjoy yeah. our life. I think even like. But why is Vaughn out here spilling all sorts of tea? That's what I don't understand. <laughs> Probably for a check. Who knows? Who knows, girl? Yeah. Who knows? Like, <laughs> even if you. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> right. Like, that was private and personal. He, but you know. He may think she, he has an eggplant, but we asked her, he has a Twizzler. So you know. <laughs> no, she admitted, she admitted it. Oh, she did? Yeah. I think she posted a picture of it on her Instagram or something. That's a whole nother story, too. I don't know why she would do that. Yeah, girl. But anyway. They both were the streets. <laughs> but, you know, so, you guys, I have a story that I want to tell. Because I could have been married in my 20s, right? Yeah. But I chose not to go that route. I'm not going to tell my story here on this um, this uh, video because I'm actually going to put it on my Patreon account. And I just started a new Patreon, patreon.com. Ooh, ooh. So you guys go sign up. I'm gonna leave um, in the first top comment, I'm gonna leave the link so that you can sign up for the Patreon account so that you can hear my story about when I almost got married in my 20s and figure out why I didn't do it. <laughs> and do I regret it? <laughs> <laughs> but Danny, thank you for this conversation. Thank you for having me. I appreciate me. you always. Um, You guys, I will see you on at Patreon to hear the rest of this story. But um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Hi, guys. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. It lets me know you're enjoying the content I'm creating for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.